Hey, I'm Lara and this is Zero. Just a quick one, as I always say, just a quick one, to explain some details about how it's not about the biscuit. Positive reinforcement along the way has become a little misunderstood by a few people. Um, this is what happens during most things. It's kind of like Chinese whispers. Think something starts out a certain way and then it ends up something completely different because each person will change what they're doing and then they will still give it the same label as what it started with when in fact it has changed to become something that's not even what it was in the first place. So you're thinking, what is she talking about? I'm talking about it's not about the biscuit. It's not about the reward. It's not about the carrot. It's not about the apple. It's not about bribing your horse. And that is what some people are insinuating that positive reinforcement is about bribing your horse. So let me explain why there is a reward at some point during positive reinforcement. Having said that, rewards come in many different forms. It can be just stopping work if the horse is working. It can be having a pat or a scratch, but the strongest form of reward that your horse remembers just like that because they're food driven most of the time is the biscuit. They remember the carrot, they remember the biscuit, they remember the apple, and they remember what it is that they did that got them that carrot biscuit. It's the same as people. They remember what they did to earn the money and then they go and do it again to earn the money. It's the same kind of thing in the way a horse will remember that. So you have to remember and think about the way horses think. Now, we could stand here all day and keep feeding our horses rewards, but that's not really what positive reinforcement is. You shouldn't be using food as a bribe. You shouldn't be placing a carrot down here and expecting your horse to bow. You take that carrot away, what have you got? Nothing. <laughs> So yeah, there's all kinds of problems with that kind of thing and that is bribing your horse. It's saying if you do this, you can get the carrot. That's a bribe and it's using it as a lure. The reason the biscuit, the carrot, the apple came into positive reinforcement in the first place, it's not about bribing your horse, it's about communication. So to use the reward, what we needed to do and the reason we used it is to get our horse to understand that our bridge means they have done something correctly. It's our way to describe to our horse that they've done what they've done correctly. So the bridge being someone's clicker, someone's whistle, or in my case, the word good. I wanted, for example, Zero, when he was born, I started with him and it, as soon as he was ready, that when I say good, it means he's done good. Now that could be anything. It could be him standing still. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. I don't start training tricks or behaviors. I just start letting my horse know that the word good means good because I want to teach him that good means good, just like you would want to teach a human that when you say good, it means good. Let's say someone spoke German and I said to them, good, they wouldn't understand me. So how would I get my horse to understand my word or my clicker or my whistle is I would use a food reward after that so that it sinks in. So I would say good and give them a biscuit. That's the reason there's food involved in positive reinforcement. But now, once your horse understands your bridge, once your horse knows good means good or click means good or whistle means good, you don't need a food reward. So do you get my point? The food only came into it to explain it to your horse in the first place. From thereafter, you don't actually need a food reward. Therefore, it is not bribing your horse. The other point, walk on zero, so people can see, your, you, see you from side on. It's also not about withholding food <laughs> as some people would suggest as well. Some people would suggest you withhold food so your horse is hungry so that you can get him to do all those tricks. <laughs> it's not what happens and that's not what it's about. So you need to make sure you are doing this professionally. Don't give it a bad name. And don't use bribes. Don't ever withhold food from your horse. Your horse should want to be doing what he's doing and he should understand what you're talking about. The only way to get him to understand you is to be consistent. Spend time and have your timing right. 
So that is what the reward, the food reward came into positive reinforcement for in the first place. It's so that we could get the message across to our horses that the word good, the whistle or the clicker means good. Because once they get it, from then on, if he does something, whatever it is he's doing, I can say good and he knows it. It means I don't have to give him a biscuit. Anyway, just a bit of a pet hate because I do see a lot of people suggesting that positive reinforcement is bribing your horse. I could not give them a reward for the rest of the time during any training session and my horse will still understand me. That's it. Positive reinforcement is not about bribing your horse. Make sure you're not someone who is doing that. We'll see you on the next one. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification, like and comment.